Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carlijn, but my friends call me Car. I love to travel and want to share my trips and adventures with you all in this vlog. <laughs> day three, Tokyo, Japan. Okay, Car. Another day, another Uber. Each morning, we would start our day with a smoothie from the 7-Eleven with the most nifty device ever, which was right across from our hotel. Super handy and delicious, of course. Stop. Okay, so we bought our juices frozen. This is the machine where you put it. So first you scan. There we go. Then we take the lid off and then you just push. Cabs are here. Hello. Off to breakfast, but little did I know how that was going to turn out for me. Here we are. Slippers. The only thing is, like any other place, there's a line. <laughs> <laughs> Food is here. <laughs> Here we have the influencer. I'm dressed in black to reflect how I'm feeling. I just puked. <laughs> we had a little bit of chicken on a pancake and I think that's where we went astray. Yes, it was pink. Way too pink and I ate not it all. Not the puke, the chicken. <laughs> Let's not talk about the chicken too much. <laughs> I like these taxis. Anyways, we're waiting for ours. We're waiting for our cab. We're going to Akihabara and we're both completely dressed in black. <laughs> so. Not cosplaying it up very much, but oh well. Who cares? We'll fit right in. It doesn't turn into gum, it's a gummy bear. Oh. Keep forgetting that the course automatic. <laughs> Konnichiwa! Going to Akihabara. Akihabara. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're in Akihabara. This is like the anime cosplay maid cafe <laughs> porn district. It's very light. It's very like there's a lot going on. It's kind of overwhelming, but it's interesting. A lot of people dress up like this. Oh, it's a guy green. I'm like waving. Dirty little maids. <laughs> Maar de maid, kijk niet naar achter. There's something kind of sleazy about it too. It's a lot of porn. Hi, hi, gato. Is it a maid cafe? Melty love. We're going there. I think it is. Fine, right, we're doing that. <laughs> Akihabara or Akiba is famous for anime, manga, video games, idol culture and back in the day it was known as the place to shop for discount electronics. In fact, post World War II a black market in electronics sprouted there which is where Akihabara's original nickname comes from, Denkigai, meaning electric town. Akiba is one of those Tokyo neighborhoods that is a whole culture unto itself. For example, otaku culture is a Japanese word that describes people that have a massive interest particularly in anime, manga, video games or computers. This pretty much sums up what Akihabara is all about. Anything that has the word chicken in it for me is a trigger. Bump of chicken. Bump of chicken. What does that even mean? Oh, yo, give me a bump, give yeah, me a bump. Give me a bump of chicken, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me just a wing, just a little. <laughs> Anyways, Akihabara. It's not the lift, you know the escalator. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, it, yeah. Yeah, it is interesting. We're standing in the lift of the seven floor sex store, and even the lift has. Oh, wow. But this is like. Oh, that's pleasant. <laughs> it's quite nice. It's a, like a Kama Sutra vibe, but then Asian. Well, I guess Kama Sutra is Asian. No way. And this is? This is Banji sex strength. games. This is wildly intriguing, but it's like sexual games. <laughs> okay, so this is basically a suit and you wear it on top of any person and then oh my god. Wow. But what is it? Okay, touch? Mm -hmm. 
That's blur a lot. disturbing. It's just yeah. undercover footage. A somewhat strange phenomenon in Japan are these dolls. I asked the store if they're in high demand, and he told me that they're constantly sold out. Whether this has to do with people foregoing relationships or not knowing how to approach human interaction and intimacy, this is definitely a cultural epidemic in Japan. They all look like they're about to cry. <laughs> so you can buy pictures of different women. And then what? And then you frame them? I guess. I mean, I'm so confused. I'm equally confused. <laughs> it's like, okay, you could have a different girlfriend for every month. <laughs> yeah, but on a picture? No. Maybe it's maybe it's in the um, collectible. No? Girls? <laughs> okay, so now I want to go and get this huge cotton candy that I saw you can get here. Great idea, car. We'll go back home. <laughs> Bouncing okay. on the wall. Look at the car. <laughs> Why don't we just jug a kilo of sugar while we're it's tied to the brain? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> This is Kospa, one of the better known shops in Akihabara. This store sells cosplay costumes and anything manga and anime related. But I was always kind of confused what the difference is between manga and anime. Anime, short for animation, are hand-drawn and computer-animated Japanese cartoon. Manga is the name for comic books from Japan. I have to order first. Okay. okay. Yeah. Do you have the regular noodles, normal sauce, nothing special? Uh, How you doing? Oh, yeah, it's nice. Post Akihabara, we just decided to get some dinner and call it a day. Here we're ordering some udon noodles, which are thicker noodles in comparison to ramen and are made from wheat, typically in a dashi-based broth made from kelp and dried bonito flakes. Super good. A small tip, when you go to Akihabara, you should spend at least four hours there roaming the area to experience otaku culture and perhaps even go to a maid cafe. The area is just so fast and so much to see, so definitely take your time. Hey there guys, thanks for watching another episode, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe below and drop a comment if you can. I would really appreciate it. Ciao! Follow me. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs>